In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how we can improve our gaming experience on Windows 10 on basically any device. I'm going to guide you exactly through everything which you can apply on your PC in order to get better FPS, less input delay and an overall smoother gaming experience when it comes down to your Windows 10 PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and now let's get straight into this topic. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be utilizing two very specific packs guys, which you can get straight up here from my official website, Lestrap's Blogspot. Just simply go in there guys and under FPS boost, you can then see that there's going to be a ton of posts here guys and there should be one with exactly same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching and from there you can get it and once you get it on your pc guys you can now see best tweaks by major geeks and windows utility and in the first place we're actually going to open up the best tweaks by major geeks and you can already see something like advertising id and sponsored apps you know like all the apps which are basically built into a windows 10 windows 11 can get fully disabled with this yeah we're going to try to disable as much as possible on our windows pc in order to get better performance when it actually comes down to gaming so therefore we're going to actually go through this and make sure to apply this to our registry just simply click onto it then you can see the screen here you're gonna click yes and then you can add it basically to your registry it's going to ask you do you actually want to add the following registry change and then you're gonna click onto yes and you can see the keys and values contained and then in the tweak has been changed to your pc you have as well here of course a full on tutorial by major geeks directly guys which is insane then we also have something like your advertising id for relevant ads if your windows is actually allowed to utilize this we of course don't want this guys they're just sending our data to microsoft and basically collecting it on our pc so we're gonna disable it then as well automatic maintenance they gotta say guys this really depends on on your current pc or your internet because this can be super annoying let's just say that you're playing fortnite in the background you're playing call of duty whatever and your pc is doing an auto update in the background just simply downloading it and your ping spikes to 200 you know can be super annoying so therefore you can fully disable it or even enable it afterwards again if you should have any issues but i would actually recommend you to fully disable it then we also have here the option now to delete pending windows updates since if you guys didn't know all the windows updates which get already once like downloaded on your pc are not gonna get instantly deleted they're just laying there basically on your hard drive and they can be up to one gig or even two gigs so therefore make sure to delete all of them guys would be super beneficial just to clear up some space on your pc the least step on folders this is basically like hidden files on your pc which you usually can't delete this can be like something like cache or basically i don't know some other temporary data on your pc which you can delete here with one simple batch file just simply let it run once on your pc and you should be good to go guys by the way if you need some extra info guys there's always going to be a tutorial link as well in the folder then we also have something like featured or suggested application then we have something like disable automatically installing applications let's just say that you do a windows update and a ton of people probably know that there's a ton of like applications which could automatically install your pc you have never installed yourself because microsoft is doing it automatically so therefore disable automatically installing applications and you should be chilling and good to go guys then we of course here have as well the game bar on windows 10 and there i gotta say this is just super hardware demanding i never really utilize it you can kind of like connect your xbox with your pc through it or even do like recording specifically in the xbox app itself so therefore i would highly recommend you to actually turn this off especially if you already have a recording system built into your amd or nvidia card then you're chilling 100 then the game mode itself i would highly recommend you to actually turn on guys here on windows 10 or windows 11 it works for both guys just simply make sure that this one is turned on because yeah it actually provides you with a lot better gaming performance in most of the games nowadays on the market then the game recording mode and broadcasting feature here on windows 10 is as well another like built-in recording mode and i've never really utilized it it's not really that bad from what i've seen guys but this is also running 24 7 in the background on your pc so therefore i can only highly recommend you to actually fully disable it if you want to increase your performance when it comes down to gaming on your pc then we have get even more out of your windows pc and this is going to be explained in the tutorial guys it basically disables a ton of processes on your pc which you usually don't utilize something like bluetooth or printer services stuff like that so therefore you can disable it and if you should have any issues afterwards you can of course again enable it here through the comment as well underneath the next step for hardware accelerated gpu scheduling guys for a ton of people this can actually cause more fps on their pc or even fps drops really depending on the game i've read that on warzone 2 especially having hardware accelerated gpu scheduling turned on which usually provides you with less latency causes the game to crash and stutter a lot so therefore you really got to be careful guys and test it out for each and every single game specifically but for most of them i would definitely recommend you to actually enable this because it provides you with a lot less input delay then we have optimization for windowed games guys and this one yeah it doesn't really matter too much i just simply leave it on disabled because i don't utilize this mode i never play any games on windowed mode and for windows update history you can clean it here real quick again these are just 
some temporary data on your PC, which you can clean up in total to speed it up a tiny bit. And with that said, we're already done here. And now let's move over to the Windows Utility feature. And once we now continue with the Windows Utility feature, guys, we're just simply going to open it up and actually drag this command here onto our PC, onto our desktop. And then we're going to open it up, guys. And in there now, we have a following command which is basically giving us a direct link to Chris Titus Windows Utility. And what you guys want to do then is go into Windows Search Bar, just simply type in that PowerShell and open it up as an administrator. Once your PowerShell is running in the background, you're going to paste exactly the following command in there and it's only going to load here after a few seconds. Then we can already see now that we have Chris Titus Tech Windows Utility, which is an insane tool, guys. As you can see, you can basically get all of the most important tools on your PC, which a lot of people are utilizing, something like 7-zip, GPU-Z to check your GPU temperatures and all that stuff, guys. You can go through it if you want to, but we actually want to focus around tweaks. We're going to open it up, guys, and then we now have a recommended section, yeah? This is basically going to give you essential tweaks and some additional tweaks for people who are a little bit more experienced i would say but what you can actually do guys is simply go here under desktop laptop or minimal let's just say that you're on a full-on gaming pc it literally makes it super easy because you only have to click onto desktop and it's going to automatically disable everything which is somehow really actually giving you worse performance on your pc something like disable location tracking home group then we have something like dvr which is also like from xbox you know this recording mode then we have something like disable telemetry which is sending data to microsoft and it's gonna as well automatically create a restore point for you so therefore if you should run into any issues you can always make sure to go back on the restore point let's just say that you're on a laptop you're gonna just simply click onto laptop and you can see it's gonna select especially everything which is recommended for laptop so you chill in there as well and for minimal we can of course also click onto it guys and then you can see you now creating a restore point and just a few things are getting disabled this is more like for people who are a little bit scared of doing like too much on their pc but let's just say now guys that we're on a full-on gaming pc we can actually select your desktop just simply itself and you can see all the tweaks are now enabled and we're just simply gonna click on to run tweaks after we're done with that the program is gonna fully apply all the tweaks here onto our pc and we're already good to go and you only have to restart it and you should have a lot better performance so guys and then we're right now in the battle bus literally on 360 fps locked which is amazing guys after playing all of these tweaks you can see my performance is really good i mean we are literally in the battle bus i can see the whole entire map and my fps are so stable so give me that ar real quick come on some chests should be chilling someone landed here no okay Oh, I see someone. Oh my god. No, I feel bad for him. Bro. <laughs> okay, kind of cheeky here. Going from the top. Okay, there we got him. <laughs> Homie's a master at running. Damn. So give me this real quick. Um, actually, let me keep the splashes, I would say. Or What's up? Oh no! Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what was that? Hold up! What just happened? Like, actually? Oh, over there! What's up, man? Gonna come over? Don't worry. Where are you going? Where are you going? Chill, 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 bro! Chill, chill, chill! No! Oh my god, what? What just happened? Did he fully disengage? No. No way, or? Yeah, he's over there. Bro, where are you going? Why are you running from me? No, not again! <laughs> what? No, not again! You're not gonna disengage, bro. You can see it, guys. My performance got insanely good, so therefore you can apply these tweaks with literally zero issues. And don't forget to check out the latest two videos which are right on your own screen since they're going to help you a lot with improving your performance even more in games.